OSTP Test Administrator Test Proctor Training for Grades 3-8 through eight and CCRA Science and U.S. History for 2021-2022. Our agenda for this training includes SAT, ACT, test security and testing violations, OSTP grades 3 through 8, CCRA science and U.S. history content, testing accommodations, test administrator training, including test administrator responsibilities for all assessments, test proctor training, including test proctor responsibilities for all assessments, and Department of Education contact information. SAT and ACT Reminders Staffing SAT and ACT Roving proctors are required by ACT. Hall proctors are required by SAT. Proctor for accommodated rooms is a requirement for SAT and ACT, but is also required by OSDE. Cannot be related to an 11th grader taking the same assessment is a requirement of SAT and ACT. Please note, both the SAT and ACT are part of the Oklahoma School Testing Program. All applicable state test security rules and regulations apply to these tests in addition to the test security rules and policies SAT and ACT require for test administration. For further information about SAT or ACT policies and procedures, Please reference their individual testing manuals and web pages listed below. Test Security and Testing Violations Test Security and Testing Violations Reproduction in any form of any copyrighted test materials is a violation of federal copyright laws. The federal copyright law as it applies to the multiple choice and or writing assessment component of the OSTP prohibits photocopying of any part of the student test booklet. This includes the lined writing pages, the writing prompt, and the student's written response. Oklahoma district and school personnel are only permitted to reproduce the following non-secure copyrighted test materials. Parent student teacher guides, test administration manuals, and test preparation manuals. Every assessment shall be administered by an education certified professional employed by the school district. Every test administrator must be accompanied by a test monitor or roving proctor for the entire duration of the test administration. Neither the DTC nor the BTC may serve as a test administrator or test proctor if more than one testing session is occurring at the same time. No person shall teach test items to students, change any student's answers, or in any manner provide correct or incorrect answers to test questions for students before, during, or after test administration. Violation of this regulation may result in revocation of the person's teaching, counseling, administrative, and or other certificates. All of the following actions are prohibited and represent violations of test security. Using secure test items as instructional tools or for student practice either verbatim or in reworded form. Writing down, photocopying, or taking photos of test items. Discussing specific test items or test forms including on the internet or social media. After the completion of any testing section, inviting students back to answer missing items on a later date and or time. Exemptions include student illness, evacuations, emergencies, and other situations caused by an irregularity in the testing environment. In these cases, testing must resume on the following day of instruction for the student. Deviating from any instruction provided in the test administration manual. Providing accommodations that are not outlined in the student's ELAP, IEP, or 504 plan. Providing answers to secure test items, which includes provision of cues, clues, hints, and or actual answers in any form. Violations of test security continued. 
changing students' responses to secure test items and or influencing or encouraging students to change their answers or lengthen their constructed response answers at any time. Viewing or reading the contents of the test or student responses except for a legitimate reason. For example, a read aloud, signing, or transcription. All test administration sessions shall be conducted according to the standardized procedures described in the test administration manual and monitored by an adult other than the test administrator. Specific procedures for administering accommodations must be followed from the OSTP IEP 504 or EL accommodation manuals. It is a violation to read secure test items orally to students at any time before, during, or after the test administration unless it is an Individual Education Program IEP, Section 504 plan, or English Learners EL accommodation. The grades 3 through 8 ELA multiple choice sections may only be read aloud as an SDE approved accommodation for students who qualify for the ELA Read Aloud non-standard accommodation. This includes passages and items. Violations in test administration and test security may result in a breach of testing security and an invalidation of the test and or test results. SDE conducts data forensics on all assessments and may conduct investigations as deemed necessary when test security and testing violations are suspected. Ensure that all student information is handled according to FERPA guidelines. Contact the U.S. Department of Education Family Policy Compliance Office at the number provided for more information. Example, a party can be given to celebrate the end of testing. A party cannot be given to reward only students who perform well on the test because that would identify those who did not perform well on the test. OSTP Grades 3 through 8 Time Schedule and Test Sequence Under no circumstances should a test section be started unless there is enough time to complete it on the same day. Students may only be given breaks, including lunch breaks or recess, between sections or sessions. Sections 1 and 2 must be given in sequential order on consecutive instructional days for each subject area. The example below is from a Grade 5 ELA testing schedule. Section 1 on April 26, Section 2 on April 27, Section 3 writing on April 28. This is a good example. Section 1 on April 27th, Section 2 on April 28th, Section 3 writing on April 26th. This is a good example. Section 1 on April 26th, Section 2 on April 27th, Section 3 writing on April 29th. This is not a good example. Sections. All assessments are broken into at least two sections. Students can take these assessments in multiple sessions either on the same day or on consecutive instructional days. Sections 1 and 2 must be given in sequential order on consecutive instructional days for each subject area. Grade 5 and 8 ELA Section 3 writing may be administered before or after Sections 1 and 2 on consecutive instructional days. Grades 5 and 8 ELA. The ELA assessment is broken into three sections. Sections 1 and 2, which are the multiple choice sections, must be given in order. Section 3 is the writing section and may be given before Section 1 or after Section 2. Paper accommodated assessments for grades 5 and 8. ELA will have two test booklets. ELA Book 1 will contain the multiple choice sections 1 and 2. ELA Book 2 will contain the writing prompt and associated materials. Online Assessment, Grades 5 and 8. The online assessment will have three sections. Sections 1 and 2 will be the multiple choice sections. Section 3 will be the writing prompt. Note, the writing prompt is one item. For paper testers, a writer's checklist will be provided for Grades 5 and 8 ELA. 
online testers will be provided the writer's checklist within the online testing platform. Districts may elect to provide a paper copy of the writer's checklist to online testers. The approved writer's checklist for use on the OSTP may be printed from the Cognia Help and Support site. Math and Science Online testers will be provided an approved calculator within the testing platform. Students may use the online version provided, a handheld calculator meeting their grade level requirements, or both. Grades 3 through 5 Mathematics Calculators are allowed as an approved accommodation for students on an IEP or 504 plan. Only basic four function calculators with square root and percent keys are acceptable. Grades 6 through 7 Mathematics Basic four function calculators that include square root and percent keys but do not include plus minus keys are allowed. Calculators with memory keys including M plus and M minus are acceptable. Grade 8 Mathematics and Science Scientific calculators meeting general requirements of the calculator policy are allowed. Math For paper testers, a reference sheet will be provided for grades 6 through 8 math. Online testers will be provided the reference sheet within the online testing platform. Districts may elect to provide a paper copy of the reference sheets to online testers. The approved reference sheets for use on the OSTP may be printed from the Cognia Help and Support page. Grade 11 CCRA Science and U.S. History Content General Requirements Students enrolled in the 11th grade will be given the Oklahoma College and Career Readiness Assessment, CCRA, which consists of two parts. Part 1. Each district will choose to administer all subtests of either the SAT or ACT, including the writing section. Part 2. The Science and U.S. History Content Assessments, which are aligned to the Oklahoma Academic Standards, are to be administered on separate days from ACT or SAT. Please note, both the SAT and ACT are part of the Oklahoma School Testing Program. All applicable state test security rules and regulations apply to these tests in addition to the test security rules and policies SAT and ACT require for test administration. CCRA Science Content Online testers will be provided an approved calculator within the testing platform. Students may use the online version provided, a handheld calculator meeting their grade level requirements, or both. Graphing and or scientific calculators meeting the general requirements of the OSTP calculator policy. For paper testers, a periodic table will be provided for the CCRA science content. Online testers will be provided the periodic table within the online testing platform. Districts may elect to provide a paper copy of the periodic table to online testers. The approved periodic table for use on the OSTP may be printed from the Cognia Help and Support site. Testing Accommodations Testing Accommodations Please review the OSTP IEP 504 EL OSTP Accommodations Manuals for the most up-to-date information. Audio features are available for read-aloud accommodations on all online tests where appropriate. SDE approval must be obtained in order to use read aloud accommodations on ELA sections 1 and 2, all grades. Headphones must be used for this accommodation. The online testing client will allow testing over several sessions, except grades 5 and 8, ELA section 3 writing, if chunking is required as an accommodation. Students will not be able to view or answer items from a previous test session. Read Aloud Accommodation Students that require a human read aloud accommodation must be administered their assessments in a small group, 8 to 10 students or less. A test proctor must be an employee of the school district for this accommodation. Due to possible privacy violations, volunteers that are not employed by the school district may not proctor when a human read aloud accommodation is provided. The online testing client for grades 5 and 8 ELA provides text-to-speech functionality for Section 3 writing only. 
students who are approved for a non-standard accommodation, NS1, must have a human reader for sections 1 and 2 for grades 5 and 8 ELA. Spanish. Translated test forms in neutral Latin American Spanish are available for grades 3 through 8 math and grades 5 and 8 science, along with CCRA science and U.S. history content. Computer-based Spanish translated test forms are available for grades 3 through 8 math, grades 5 and 8 science, and CCRA science and U.S. history content. Computer-based Spanish language text-to-speech for online testing requires the download of Sepstral Spanish Voice Pack onto the machine used for testing. Spanish audio can be used with English paper tests for students who speak Spanish but do not read Spanish. Requirements for Spanish Voice Pack and Spanish language audio files utilization. Students must have been using the Spanish Read Aloud accommodation throughout the year. Students must have the Read Aloud accommodation specified as required on their English language academic plan. Test Administrator Responsibilities Test Administrator Responsibilities Who can fill this role? The Test Administrator, TA, must be an Education Certified Professional employed by the school district. A substitute teacher with a current teaching certificate may fill this role. The TA cannot be related to the test proctor nor to any student in the testing session. In completing this training module, all test administrators will also be able to serve as test proctors without additional training. The DTC and BTC cannot serve as the testing administrator or test proctor if more than one testing session is occurring at the same time. Before testing, the TA must complete this SDE provided training module and be thoroughly trained and familiar with procedures provided in the test administration manual, procedures for administering testing accommodations as described in the OSTP accommodation manuals, and test security and validity rules before administering any test. The TA must complete any additional district required training. The TA must provide the BTC with a digital or printed copy of the TATP training module certificate. The TA must score at least at 80% on the quiz following this training module to receive the TATP training module certificate. Confirm which students require accommodations. Only approved accommodations may be used by a student on an IEP 504 plan or EL students. The accommodations must be documented in a current IEP 504 plan or ELAP. Accommodations for state testing must correspond to classroom accommodations. Students should always be familiar with their accommodations prior to the day of the test. Procedures for administering accommodations are provided in the OSTP, IEP 504, or EL accommodation manuals. Review the test administration manual and rules for test security and validity several days prior to testing. Be familiar with the scripted directions prior to testing. Know your building's plan in case of unforeseen emergencies. For example, sickness, fire, tornado, lockdown, power failure, technological difficulties. Remove or cover all visual aids and clues throughout the test administration regardless of the content area being tested and the length of time the visuals have been up in the classroom. Clocks may remain uncovered. Visual aids include posters, maps, charts, timelines, alphabet, and number lines. Gather the appropriate approved reference materials, reference sheets for grades 6 through 8 math, writer's checklist for grades 5 and 8 ELA section 3, periodic table for the CCRA science content. Paper copies of the reference material must be collected after testing and destroyed by the BTC. Plain white scratch paper and or lined notebook paper may be used for all assessments. Blank, unmarked grid paper is allowed. Scratch paper and unmarked grid paper must be collected after testing and destroyed by the BTC. 
before testing, the day of testing. Paper testing. Receive all secure test materials and the classroom security checklist from the BTC on the day of testing. Verify book numbers with the BTC. This will help account for all booklets. Document students' names next to the security barcodes on the security checklist for each test book. Online testing. Receive test tickets from the BTC. Confirm a test proctor observation log sheet is provided to the test proctor or roving proctor. Before testing, the day of testing, paper tests. Labels with student information will be provided for the paper answer documents, scannable books. One label for combined answer documents will be produced for each grade level using answer documents. If any student demographic detail is incorrect on the student label, continue to use the label unless there is a mistake in any of the three main identifiers. First name and last name, date of birth, DOB, or state testing number, STN. Notify the BTC of any mistakes on the student label. The DTC or BTC will make the corrections in the student information system to be uploaded to the WAVE. Ensure that an appropriate calculator is being used and that the memory has been cleared. Programs on graphing calculators must be deleted or disabled. During testing, maintain test security at all times. Administer tests with the test proctor present. Both the test administrator and the test proctor must remain in the testing session at all times. Scripts must be read verbatim, word for word. Part of what makes a test standardized is the standardized directions being given by all TAs across the state. Do not deviate from the script. Do not add to the directions. Do not skip any portion of the directions, even if the students have already taken an assessment during this testing window. Scripts can be read from either a printed or electronic copy using a school computer or school tablet of the test administration manual. A cell phone may not be used to read the script. A recording of the script will be provided by Cognia and may be played in lieu of reading the script. During testing, reading the script, read aloud the bold type material that is preceded by the word say. Brackets indicate text that should be read for specific tests. Read only the text within the brackets or insert information into the bracket that applies to the test being administered. Italicized material is information for you that should not be read aloud to the students. Say, Today we will begin the Oklahoma School Testing Program Tests. Please look at your test book and combined answer document. Both the test book and combined answer document should say grade. Please raise your hand if both do not say grade. Give help as needed. TAs and TPs must set their mobile phones in silent mode or turn them off and should not make or receive calls. Text messages are only to be sent or received in the case of an emergency. Students' electronic communication devices may not be present while a test is being administered. For example, cell phones, wearable smart technology, etc., even if the students have completed the test. Do not allow students to use extra materials, for example, overlay, ruler, sticky notes, or colored pencils, except as specified in a student's IEP, 504 plan, or as an EL accommodation. A highlighter used on an assessment needs to be the ink-based marker, non-graphite type of highlighter. Colored pencils, clear or colored tape, or other marking methods are not allowed. If a student mistakenly marks the answer choice with a colored pencil rather than the number two pencil, the scanner will not read the response. Students should not highlight answer documents or around the answer bubble area in scannable books. During testing, paper. Confirm students use only a number two pencil. Avoid mechanical pencils. Instruct students to put their names on the front cover of their answer documents and test books according to the directions in the test administration manual. The grade three paper assessments are in a scannable book. 
Ensure that students do not make any marks within the item boxes. Marking in other areas, for example on passages or in margins, should not interfere with scoring. Grade 3 paper tests are only available for students who have a paper test accommodation documented in their IEP, 504 plan, or ELAP. During testing. During testing, student desks must be completely cleared of any materials other than test book and answer document for paper testing, test ticket for online testing, pencil, scratch paper or unmarked grid paper, approved OSTP reference sheet for math, writer's checklist for grades 5 and 8 ELA section 3, or periodic table for CCRA science content. No books, water bottles, candy, cell phones, etc. should be allowed on student desks during testing. Students are not allowed to have snacks during testing sessions or to leave for lunch before completing a testing section or session. If a student has a water bottle during testing, they should keep the water bottle on the floor instead of on the desk. Nothing should be taped or otherwise attached to the desk. Monitor students throughout the session to ensure that they are advancing through the questions and that they are observing only their own test booklet or answer sheet or screen. Dividers or testing carrels are recommended for students testing in close proximity to one another. Individual online tests can be paused up to 15 minutes for specified accommodations or in an individual emergency. If the student's test times out because it was paused longer than 15 minutes, contact the building test coordinator. Keep records of students who missed the test on the original test date and need to make up tests prior to the close of the testing window or any observed irregularities that occurred during the testing session. If students need to go to the restroom during a testing session, they may only be allowed to go one at a time. Hall monitors can be used to make sure students return in a timely manner, do not make extra stops, or access electronic devices while out of the testing environment. Online testers must click on the pause button while they are taking a restroom break, 15 minute maximum. Paper testers must turn their test book over and place it on top of their answer document on top of their desks while they are taking a restroom break. Testing irregularities. Testing irregularities include sickness, TA, TP is distracting, student received read aloud from math or science and should not have, misread script, parents picked up student during testing, wrong accommodation was administered, sections not given on consecutive days in correct order, and technical issues during online testing. Test administrator responsibilities during testing. If a technical problem occurs, maintain an orderly and secure testing environment while the BTC makes any necessary calls to correct the problem. Students must not be allowed to talk to each other or leave the testing environment during this time. Students must not be allowed to read, work puzzles, use cell phones, play games, or eat during this time. A test administrator must remain in the testing session with students at all times. Testing irregularity procedures. Students who experience a testing irregularity that prevents them from finishing the test during that session will be allowed to finish testing once they return to school. Re-administer same test form if possible. Students may need a new answer document or booklet depending on circumstances. Contact the BTC to inform them of the testing irregularity. The student should be scheduled to complete their assessment as soon as they return to school, and this will be documented on the testing irregularity form. Test invalidation. Reasons for possible test invalidations include, but are not limited to, cheating, large-scale security violation, presence of a cell phone or other smart technology, including smartwatches, in the testing environment, testing outside the test window, TA, TP, or student are related in the testing room, student received read aloud on ELA and was not supposed to, 
ELA writing section was started and didn't finish until days after. TP was not an employee of district for human reader sessions. If the SDE approves the invalidation, the student will be considered a non-participant unless a breach assessment is administered. Test Administrator Responsibilities During Testing Ensure additional time is given to any student who is not finished by the end of the recommended test administration time. Additional time must be an immediate extension of the testing session not to exceed double the amount of recommended time per section or session. Report any unforeseen emergencies and unexpected circumstances to the BTC. Contact the BTC to report any test irregularities or breaches in test security. For online testing, if the student is prompted to enter a proctor password, the BTC will contact the DTC to request a proctor password. This will allow the student to continue testing. Students may not be given the proctor password. The proctor password must only be entered by the test administrator or BTC. For paper testing, test administrators and test proctors will need to closely monitor the student to ensure no violations to test security occur. Students are not allowed to go back to questions that they have already completed or viewed. Students should not view any previous sections of the assessment. Ideally, each subject area test should be administered on a separate day. If more than one subject area test is administered on the same day, students should be given a rest break between sessions. Mixed group or grade testing. Test administration manuals, TAMs, and sample questions have been standardized by GradeSpan and content area to allow for mixed group testing. Students may be combined by grade spans for test administration of a single content area. For example, students in grades 3, 4, and 5 taking the math assessment can be grouped into one location. The approved grade span groupings are 3 through 5 and 6 through 8 multiple choice sections. The ELA Section 3 writing prompt for grades 5 and 8 may not be given in mixed groups but the multiple choice sections can be given in a mixed group testing session. Note, the writing prompt is considered one item. Under no circumstances should you begin a test unless you are sure there is enough time to complete it. You do not want a student to feel rushed to finish before lunch or at the end of the day. Once a student has started a test section, they must finish the section before being released from the secure testing environment. It is preferable to provide read aloud accommodations through the built-in text-to-speech function for online assessments. Headphones or earbuds are required. The text-to-speech voice is the default or selected voice embedded in the operating system on the student's device. Prior to the day of testing, students should utilize the practice test to determine whether the voice is suitable. The online testing client will provide this functionality for the non-standard ELA test read aloud accommodation, except for ELA grades 5 and 8, sections 1 and 2, multiple choice sections. If a human reader is required for the student, the test must be read aloud over a student's shoulder verbatim. Individual or small group, 8 to 10 students or less, testing is required. For small group testing with a human reader, ensure all students have the same test form. Refer to OSTP IEP 504 or EL Accommodation Manual for specific instructions for providing this accommodation. The human reader must be an employee of the district. Test Administrator Responsibilities After Testing Make sure students submit their answers for scoring and exit the testing client after they complete each section. Online testing. Collect all answer documents and test books from students. Paper testing. Verify secure test books and answer documents are all accounted for by using the classroom security checklist. Collect student testing tickets. Online testing. 
collect scratch paper and our unmarked grid paper, reference sheets, writer's checklist, and periodic tables. Ensure that the memory has been cleared from all calculators. Remind students that they should not discuss the test with anyone, including their classmates and teachers. Check all scorable answer documents to confirm that appropriate labels are affixed or hand-bubbled information is complete. If TA is checking for stray marks or darkening bubbles, a test proctor must be present. Transcribe student responses from a large print or braille test book to a scannable answer document. Transcribe response for the grades 5 and 8 ELA Section 3 writing into a regular answer document exactly as a student has written or dictated. A test administrator must transcribe with a test proctor present. Deliver all test materials to the BTC after testing each day. This includes test books and answer documents for paper testing. Verify book numbers with BTC. This will help account for all books. Student testing tickets for online testing. Scratch paper and or unmarked grid paper, reference sheets, writer's checklists, and periodic tables. These documents must be securely destroyed by the BTC. Confirm with the BTC that a test proctor observation form has been completed. After you are finished serving as a TA for all your testing sessions, submit the TA test security form. Note, after the completion of any testing section, students may not be invited back to answer missing questions on a later date and or time. Exemptions include sudden illness, evacuations, emergencies, and other situations caused by an irregularity in the testing environment. In these cases, testing must always resume the following day of instruction for the student. Test Proctor Responsibilities Test Proctor Responsibilities – Who can fill this role? All Oklahoma School Testing Program test sessions shall be monitored by an adult other than the test administrator. This adult must be 18 years or older and not a student in the district, must be approved by the building principal, can be a member of the faculty or community, and does not have to possess an Oklahoma teaching certificate. This adult may not be the DTC or BTC if more than one testing session is occurring at the same time. A student at that school, even if the student has already turned 18. A relative or significant other of the test administrator or a parent or relative of a student in the session being proctored. Test proctor responsibilities before testing. Ensure all visual aids and clues are covered or removed in the testing room clocks may remain uncovered. Visual aids include posters, maps, charts, timelines, alphabet, or number lines. Test proctor responsibilities during testing. Test proctors must remain engaged in the testing process throughout the entire session, actively monitor students, and observe that all testing procedures and security regulations are maintained. Test proctors and test administrators must not visit during the test sessions. Test proctors must document irregularities or unusual circumstances that occur during the testing session on the test proctor observation log sheet. The test proctor may assist only with duties that include the following. Distributing and retrieving test materials. Achieving accuracy in coding of student class, building, and district information on answer documents for paper testing. The main duties of the test proctor are helping maintain the security of the test, ensuring that the assessments have been administered properly. Proctors must be present in all test administrations for the entirety of each session. The test proctor should observe that student desks are completely cleared of any materials other than test book and answer document for paper testing, testing ticket for online testing, pencil, scratch paper and or unmarked grid paper, approved OSTP reference sheet for math, writer's checklist for grade five and eight ELA section three, or periodic table for CCRA science. No books, water bottles, candy, cell phones, etc. 
are on the desk during testing. If a student has a water bottle during testing, they should keep the water bottle on the floor instead of the desk. Nothing is taped or otherwise attached to the desk. The test proctor should observe that students are working and do not have access to any electronic devices, books, or other materials. Directions are read from a script and that the test administrator is not veering from the script by giving additional instruction. The test administrator is actively monitoring the testing session. The test administrator is not giving any help to students. The test administrator is monitoring the students and not involved in other activities, such as working on the computer, reading, etc. Test Proctor Responsibilities After Testing Test proctors may assist the test administrator after completion of the test session. A test proctor must monitor a test administrator while they erase stray marks, transcribe responses to scannable documents from any braille or large print forms, etc. A test proctor may help the test administrator verify the information from the classroom security sheet matches the test books. A test proctor may help gather testing materials to return to the building test coordinator. Ensure the test proctor observation log is accurate and return to the building test coordinator. The form must be signed by the test proctor. The form contains a non-disclosure agreement. The form is retained at the district or school for five years. The form is completed even when no irregularities or unusual circumstances are observed. Questions or concerns. If you have questions or concerns before, during, or after testing that are not addressed in the test administration manual, contact your BTC. If unresolved, please contact the next individual on this chain of communication.